Michelle here. So, I have a first world problem and I'm going to complain. And yes, I do realize that, because I'm sure you've seen the title of the video, that a lot of people don't have couches that recline. So, it's technically not a big deal. It's not. My life is not going to be over because of it and it doesn't affect anything. Okay? I get that. So, don't come at me in the comments. But those of you that don't know, my couch is a power recliner. The sofas that I had before, they reclined as well, but they were manual. So this one is electric. It's plugged into the wall and each side lays back. The foot comes up and then this part here, the headrest, once you're laying down, you can raise it up a little bit to make like a little pillow take a nap on the couch which I have done plenty of times on this couch it is very very comfortable I will say that anyway so I've had these couches a little over a year if you guys remember last year when I was doing my whole living room makeover when I ordered the couch the day that it was supposed to come they had my name under a lady's which she ordered the exact same thing that I did just in a different color so Anyway, it took me six weeks to get our furniture or two months, something like that. We were without furniture in the living room. We were sitting in lawn chairs and whatever in the living room for all that time. Anyway, so like I said, now I've had it a little over a year. I pressed the button to get up. Nothing happened. I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe got unplugged or whatever. So I got up, checked the plug. It worked fine. Checked the other side. That side worked fine. And I'm like, why isn't it working? So. The button wasn't working and I'm like, oh my goodness, my couch is going out. It shouldn't go out after just me having it for a year, right? And I do realize that it's not gonna last forever. It will work here and there. It'll get stuck in the up position and I'm like, I'm not gonna sit here and try to play with it. And then, you know, you'll press it again and it'll go down. I don't know why at that time I didn't call because the couches came with a one year warranty if anything happens or whatever. So I should have called that day or around that time when it happened because it finally went down and it wouldn't go up at all again. And so I'm thinking, okay, let me call where I got it from so they can have someone come out and fix it or do whatever they need to do and then it'd be done, right? I should have called sooner. I waited like a week to call, which I'm such a procrastinator sometimes when it comes to things. And I called and get on the phone and I told her, gave her my name and all that. And, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, we can definitely get somebody out there to check that out because you're under warranty. And she said, whoa, wait a minute. I said, yes. She said, your warranty expired a week ago. Y'all, this couch should not have went out in one year. And had I not waited to call them it would have been on their dime all that to say now i'm gonna have to pay to fix this couch first world problems you see what i'm getting right and i still sit here as you can see without having the foot part raised but i like having it up because it's comfortable i said okay well can you still send somebody out and i'll just you know what do you charge okay well it's 120 for them to come out okay does that go towards fixing the part no and she told me like different parts what could possibly be wrong and the price was getting more and more expensive so i said okay let me think about this and i'll call you back so i'm thinking and i'm like okay i'm pretty handy you know i, I can pretty much do stuff so i got on youtube university and I went on TikTok. I'm trying to find out what to do if your power couch goes out. I've seen a bunch of videos and I seen my exact couch and they were saying that the power switch, which is this, yes, I took it off. Let me show you guys. It's like an empty hole right here. And I don't like the look of it because I feel like something's gonna come out and bite me. So anyway, before I took that off, I actually flipped this couch over, which let me tell you, this sucker is heavy. I had to have one of my kids help me flip it over. So they said first start by plugging and unplugging stuff. And I unplugged it from the wall. Maybe something got dislodged, I don't know. Put it back, it worked. Then you brought it down 
and it stopped working. So there is something definitely going on in there. And so I watched a YouTube video that said, you wanna start out with the switch, which is this part right here. I called one place where they repair sofas. They come out to your house. I sent him a picture of this. I said, I wanna start out small. I wanna start out here. And I said, how much do you charge to come out? And he said, it's $100. And I'm asking, does that go towards fixing it? No. And I said, well, can I just buy this part from you? And he said, well, that part comes from China and it's really expensive. And, you know, he kept insisting and pushing and asking, where do I live? And he wanted to come to my home and whatever. And he was like, pretty much like, bada bing, bada boom. I tell you what I'm going to do. No, he didn't say all that. But the vibes he was giving was very, I just felt uncomfortable. And I'm like, you, you know, you're not coming into my home. No, thank you. So I told him I would call him back. So then I went on Amazon and I found this, y'all. I found this for $41 and I'm like, really a hundred dollar part, liar. Anyway, found it, ordered it, waited for it, got here and the cord right here on the other one was longer. This right here was the part that I took off of the couch. The other part that came looked exactly like this. This cord was longer, right? And I'm thinking, okay, well maybe just the company that it's from was so excited, finally got here, put it on and everything, didn't work. Frustrated again, which I shouldn't be because first world problems, right? Not a lot of people have reclining couches, so it's not a big deal, right? But when you become accustomed to it, it's like, I want my couch to work. Anyway, so I'm trying to figure out what's going on, why it's not working, it's the same exact part. And then I called another company, which the first guy I called, he was just like some, rando i think he had a standalone company he had his own company which i'm not downing that whatever but then i called an actual company that specializes in this and the guy he was more i just felt more comfortable with him and i sent him a picture of this and his part's gonna cost me 90 dollars. i'm like this exact same part and he said yes and he said because it comes from china and i'm thinking i'm like ding 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 the first guy so he wasn't lying, which I don't know why I thought he was lying. So I'm talking to him and he said, does it have the same serial number on it? And I'm like, it's the exact same thing. I don't know why the one I bought from Amazon doesn't work. And he says, sometimes they sell these things and you know, just to get a sale and it doesn't work. And so I, I just had a good conversation with him. And he said he charges a hundred bucks to come out, but the hundred dollars does go towards fixing a part. And he was giving me the prices, whatever. I just felt more comfortable with him. So I told him, I said, okay, you know what? Let me call you back. I got off the phone with him. I took the other part off and looked at it serial numbers were different my fault that was my that was my bad i didn't even think to look for the serial number to make sure or the model number to make sure those matched it didn't the one here which is the proper one this right here has eight pins in there and the one that i got from amazon only had five and the serial number was different on there as well. Got off the phone with that guy, the second guy. I felt more comfortable and I'm like, okay, if push comes to a shove, I'm going to call him and have him come in because he seems more reasonable, right? And so I start thinking, I'm like, hmm. So the serial number and this is the second person that told me that the part comes from China. So I just put the serial number of this in Google and guess what I found a company in China called life easy supply and they pulled up my exact model number that I need for my couch and guess how much it was y'all $50 so I immediately returned the part that I had from Amazon to Amazon and then in, in that process I ordered the part so it should be here soon right now I keep checking the shipping and it's in a part to where it's in transit from I guess from China to America so there's no other status on it until it gets here um, but it also comes with not only this but a junction box this is called the recliner switch so yeah you guys when that gets here um, I'm gonna put it on and cross my fingers that it works 
hopefully this is the only part that's bad. That way I could just switch this and don't have to use the junction box. And I'll just save it for if something happens again. And on their website, they didn't have it where you can just buy this in my model and the one that I needed. They didn't have just this separately. They had this and the junction, which is the cord that attaches to another part that gives it power. So hopefully between those two things, when it gets here, we'll fix my couch. All that to say, my couch is broken, y'all. It's not broken, but you get what I'm saying. First world problems, I know, but yeah, in the next video, you'll see me when it gets here, hopefully putting it together and hopefully it working. So yeah, keep your fingers crossed. Okay, the part is in. This is the moment of truth. Before I flip the couch over, I am just going to disconnect this part. And hopefully, I need both my hands. Okay, this part right here, this is the new one. Has everything that the other one has. Same model number and everything. So let's hope this works. Okay, no such luck. I thought I was going to be able to just take this off and reach in but there was no way because I actually need under the couch not through the back right here so y'all I'm have to put it on well and plug it first and then plug it and put it down try it out all right you guys guess what's working again let me press the button everything is in here it's upside down everything is on I had trouble because it ended up being the lone cord instead. So look y'all, it works again. And then, I know you're upside down, you press one button and then everything goes back to normal. Now I'm gonna make sure the USB works, which if it doesn't, I am not gonna complain. But yeah, we're back in business, you guys. Okay, I had to sit down for a minute. Y'all, I got so sweaty. This couch is heavy and you would think, okay, you just flip it over and then just take the plug out and that'd be it, right? No, it was weaved in and out of the material down there, the fabric and underneath like the springs. And I just wanted to get it the same exact way this one was or the other one was that way, hopefully. In a year's time, it doesn't go out again, but at least I know now if it happened again, I was actually gonna set the camera up and vlog and show you guys, but you wouldn't have been able to see me do it other than the back of my head because it was dark inside the couch, even though I had it flipped upside down or flipped to the side. And I had my phone light shining in there trying to get everything working proper and whatever. So yeah, you guys, I did it. I guess those guys was right about it coming from China. And if, But if this didn't work, then I would have had to call someone to come in because it would have probably been in the motor part of it, which uh, that's beyond my expertise. But y'all, yay, I fixed my couch. It works. And well, I guess, I guess I should check the USB port. I'm sure it'll work. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. So all is right in the first world in Michelle's home. I should call them both back and be like, I found your secret, your secret company in China and it worked. But number one, that would be petty. And number two, if I did that, I have a feeling that knowing my luck, God would be like, oh yeah, you think so? Let me let it break for sure now. And then it end up being like the motor or something where they have to come out. So I'm not gonna do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let's see what else I can rig and put together. Well, I don't want to break anything to have anything, you know, break or anything like that. Y'all know what I mean. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.